I just wanna stay bad, stay mad shit by my shoulder Cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me Ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact Give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back Finally, finally, you're here. There's so much to go over with you, and I'm, I'm not even sure where to get started. Well, but. why don't you give me an update? I see the body kit is now, it's all mounted, like seems to be in their final places. It's not more or coming less. off again. It's not so coming off. So what you see is actually going to stay. Now, obviously, the front bumper will be removed a few more times on and off. I can't but. believe this, the, the clearances here. This is like Lexus stuff, three millimeter. It's crazy. That story is coming up right after the break. So guys, check this out. They just told me that they're actually gonna be selling these body kits. So here's the deal. They're gonna produce only six kits. Six and done, that's it. Only six, forever discontinued, done, done, done. $3,000 per kit. You have to leave a $1,500 deposit and then your production time will take six to eight weeks. Again, six kits, six full kits, and that's it, never to be reproduced again. Molds are gonna be destroyed. So if you want one of these kits, reach out to me on my Instagram or in the video comments below, and I will put you in touch with the people who are taking care of the transaction. So if you want one, get it now. Once they're gone, they're gone forever, 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 forever. <laughs> Then I gotta ask if this hood is here. I thought I saw another hood when I came you in. You right? did actually see another hood. Let this be a lesson to all of you guys wanting to build a Fast and Furious Supra. Oh. There are multiple, exactly. This is exactly. bigger than that. That looks more realistic. This more. is correct to your car. And I was noticing the, the nostrils, those seem like at a weird angle there. Right. But these seem better. And, and don't forget, when we were building the cars, we didn't use the exact same parts and the exact same manufacturers, right. remember? You know, stunt two would be different than stunt one, stunt one maybe. The car that sold at Bear Jackson for 550 grand mm -hmm. had that hood. Uh, we're trying to stay true to your car. That was the one that was most photographed because right. after the movie, those cars disappeared and the only one that still le was left on the street was the hero car. Right. So that, that's the one that ha we have all the pictures of. Every time I saw pictures of this car, it just, this wasn't right. These had to be higher because it showed off more of the polished uh, bits and pieces under the hood. Speaking of that, can we take a look at the, at the motor? It's pulled. There you go. Oh, and that looks, that looks familiar. We had the turbo installed. We had, uh, you know, most of the stuff already uh, installed, but we, of course, had to send them out to have them polished. We talked to the guy that did our, our plastic chrome dip here for and that. sent him the, uh, the cover for the fuse panel, and that's hopefully going to be back in, a, in about a month. One of the things that I'm worried about is scraping this front end. I talked to Richard over at B-Side Fabrication, and he's going to build us an underbelly tray that comes out all the way to the edge and fits really tight underneath this bumper, and he's going to structurally support it off of the actual frame rails. You know, these brakes came from one of the guys that said he had all the original stuff. You know, the wheels were supposedly the exact wheels that uh, were on the, the original movie car, and that all turned out to be not true. So we had to rebarrel the wheels and change the fitment. These were actually fit for a Honda Civic. There were seven, seven and yeah, a half they or were, something like that. Yeah, they were they were completely that. wrong. We were but told they were 19 by nine and 19 by 10. Yeah, and brand got, new in the box. Remember? Brand new in the box. Yeah, they were in the box. They weren't brand new. You got the fitment perfect because the one thing, like I've talked about this many times. With my car, we didn't put spacers on it, and those, those wheels actually came off my wife's Lexus GS400 initially. We put them on here, and the spacing wasn't right for a Supra. Right. So they were tucked in, and I hated that. So now with it, you're getting into the stereo. Okay, so this is the fun part. These pieces will be, the faces will be exactly lined up. For the trunk back here, you got this little battery that's gonna go back here. Right. With that little thing. And then the, the tub is literally a tub. So this is the, the top of it, right? And it comes down into a valley. And then there's a pedestal that's shaped and formed 
with uh, inserts for screws right. to hold the clear plexiglass tray right. for the amp, which is drilled all the way through, and you use machine screws with washers on right. the amp, and then the lock nut underneath to hold the amp in there. They're all silver. I remember that very much because I had extra ones. Do you recall where the box started? Was this underneath this or above this? I, I have, I'm pretty sure it's, a, it's below. And, and the reason for that is because on top goes this PlayStation. So I'm going to move this out of the way for a moment. Right. Yeah, the PlayStation sits on top here. Correct. And it aims to the front because you have all your controllers there, right. right? Right. And the other thing is the cover for the back of this. You could see it's a removable cover. It was probably Velcroed in place. Nope. Nope. You know the speakers, like if you had the old school home speakers? Right. And they have a giant grill cloth on it. Right. And then when you push it in, there's these two little nipples on it with the ball joint. Oh, right. You remember okay. that? That's, That's exactly what that was. Okay. I, I'm just curious as to why they would build a tub if they're not going to illuminate it. Is, it is, but it, it, it's not directly illuminated. You don't forget, don't forget, underneath each amp, is a channel routed into those uh, plat those platforms, right? And there's neon lights in there. And then, when you put the cover piece over here, then you've got that MDF piece, and you have a half inch of acrylic, and that's got lights yeah. in it. See, you see the MDF in the right. That you see about a half an inch of like what something looks like white, right? But you can tell that's actually acrylic. This is the center one. Yeah. And but that's not really in the center, right? No. It no. Goes, it's that's closer to center. This is closer to center, yeah, right here. Yeah. Oops. The smaller one's gonna fit. I'm gonna be about here. Yeah. About Don't here. forget, you're gonna be higher. Right. Well, wait a minute. It's closer. The monitor box, the passenger airbag monitor box. I got all that figured out. Yeah. So that I'm not worried about. This is the only part that's the most challenging for me. I see a lot of parts uh, disassembled at over here. Yes. Yeah, so Gauges. What, what we ended up having to do, the original bezel uh, wasn't in the best of shape. And we were, of course, you know, this is the laminate, carbon fiber laminate that goes over the bezels. But what we've had to do is we've had to apply brake cleaner and things that took off that plastic. Yeah, I was asking James about that. He said that they tried, the super forms were saying not anything else but brake fluid, not brake cleaner, yeah. not this, not the other thing, but we brake fluid. We tried goof off, we tried thinning agents, nothing I, took it off. I would never have the balls to do that. Uh, we have all the gauges. Um, the gauges came from Dave Jesko, who actually helped me build the original actual movie car. He just happened to have brand new boxes of like six gauges, all the ones we needed, one that we didn't. How <laughs> cool is that? So we're getting the brand new stuff. Never been touched by human hands until they, these guys got them. Do you recall if your A-pillar cover, your pod uh, cover, was that wrapped in vinyl or was it hard plastic? So I want to say hard plastic. Okay. And the reason being because the car was at Stillen when it was doing the BPU upgrade, so they were not going to take that thing apart and send it over to Stitchcraft to wrap it. So. Got it. Okay. So let's talk about graphics. So the paint's been color sanded. That looks like it's all sorted out. It is, yes. Okay. We're going to take it to San Diego. We're going to have the original guys do it. Modern image. Modern image. And apparently they're not airbrushing the new graphics because modern technology, all that stuff is is built into the program. Of course, I want to be there because I want to lay eyes on exactly where the graphics go. Of course, you'll be there as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What we talked about a little bit is, uh, you know, this has been glued into place. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the, the green, that Kawasaki green splatter kind of comes up here. And I want to see if they could add a little bit more green. Just imagine if it comes out of the printer in one sheet and, and they line it, and they wrap it this way and wrap it that way, yeah, it, you're gonna see an orange in between. Right. So I wanna see if they could add green. I don't wanna necessarily fill that mm -hmm. in case, God forbid, we ever have to replace the skirt or do repair to the skirt. Back then they had to lay a certain number of layers on the, on the table, and right. then where they needed the shading, they came in and did the airbrushing, right. and then the next layers went on top of that. Took hours to do cars, yeah. and when we were doing too fast, oh my God. They yeah. actually had sent two people to Florida for four months to do the graphics there. Oh my God. So they were living there. Yeah, so. Um, it's, What's your it, timeline, do you think? It's without giving, without spilling the beans, um, a month and a half. I have to have these cars running weeks. and driving. Okay. Uh, Richard's going to lower the intercooler because you're not supposed to see a gap in between the intercooler and the yeah. bumper. And they're going to powder coat those intercooler yeah, pipes. Yeah, those are all already getting. Uh, with the wrinkle finish. Right. Yeah. These are temporary pipes. Turn signals, uh, fog We have lights, those. We yeah. have the fog lights. I've never liked it when people put body kits on their car and you could see, see through all the, the openings yeah. and see the and ground. And it gets the car dirty. Yeah. I, we're going to cover all that up. We have the proper screens. So we, we bought the wing and supposedly the wing was exactly 
the correct Another wing. Another lie. <laughs> well, it wasn't. Uh, after you know, a forensic study of wings, I realized that the wing that we got, the stands were too thick. The bases are still the same because we already yeah. had the holes set for I that. I remember but. looking at the wings saying that uh, I think those uprights well, were a little And that's sick. what got me to thinking and start studying more pictures, and, and you're right. I have a new uh, antenna base ordered for your car as well. Did your antenna work? Yeah. Okay. Are we still going to do that race? The super versus. Have you concern. have you seen the charger? I, I see it every time I walk in here, but we never talk about it. And I don't so know why. So the the original car uh, had a fake blower, had a right. fake Anderley buzzard catcher on it, and that was all just for looks. We went with a 572 aluminum block Hemi, a real, real, the real deal Hemi. The, uh, Joe over at Hawaii Racing, who does all the studio builds, he's custom building a motor for us. Different. We ended up finding an original Enderly five inch buzzard catcher. We sent it off to BDS and BDS took its guts and reformatted it to actually accommodate the more modern fuel injected 572 Hemi. It's gonna look exactly like the movie car, but it's gonna be reliable and, and functional. Function. And functional. So what so, kind of horsepower is it gonna make? Well, we're hoping 900 to 1,000. It's really gonna all depend on its tune. You're doing the build on Just Driven, right? Right. So if anybody wants to see the nuts and bolts, they can go to your channel there and you follow go. it. Yeah. And you have a whole series of videos. On the chargers, so, so the, the Toretto chargers. So interesting soon. stuff is coming. The, the powertrain's gonna be going in soon. Yep. Uh, what are you gonna do with the interior? Simple, we've got a roll cage being built for it. Um, we have the original seats, aluminum paneling that pretty much replaces the door panels and it didn't have a rear seat it was a rear right. seat delete the one thing we are doing uh, because I'm old and I you know it's California where it, it's getting warmer every year uh, it's gonna have electric AC ah. so uh, <laughs> the paint is immaculate like thank all you. of your cars the guys did a great job I can't wait to get the correct daisies on it um, yeah well these are just rollers yeah, yeah these are yeah. just rollers yeah exactly it's gonna be a lot of fun having these two cars side by side yes uh, so and and that's gonna be phenomenal when's first start for the Supra um, well, let's see. That could literally be coming next week. Yeah. All right. That, are you so, going to come back? Yeah, well, I'll all let right. you do your video about putting all this stuff in and making it work and turn it on all in. All right. Fill it up with the coolant, and then once the air conditioner is running, call me, and I'll be right down. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, I agree. Totally. All right, Daryl. Totally thanks so much, brother. Yeah, dude. Thanks. Follow uh -huh. these guys on Just yeah. Driven, and don't forget to subscribe, like their videos, and comment the hell out of it. And please don't leave rude comments. Save that for my <laughs> channel because I love it. <laughs>